Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and this is day 22 of my 90 day tougher challenge. I woke up this morning and the scale was not nice to me. Um, I had actually gained almost two pounds and um, part of my accountability is that I have to text a picture of me on the scale showing my weight every morning to my trainer. Um, not that we're just so focused on the scale, but just to generally track me and hold me accountable. So I did, I texted her the picture and she responded and said, you need to come to boot camp this morning. <laughs> and I was like, no stinking way. I was just at boot camp last night and I am so tired, but she's the boss. So I did show up for boot camp this morning. Um, honestly did not think I would be able to make it through. I mean, I was fatigued, like literally my muscles were just exhausted. And, um, but thankfully, along with some encouragement from my friends on Facebook and just sheer determination, I made it through. And it was a little revised boot camp for me. I mean, everybody else had to do what I did last night. So um, it was a good workout. I, um, I did some treadmill work, some inclines. We did a lot of um, leg focusing things since I worked my um, upper body last night. So. Um, I did squats, I did um, some push-ups, which really are more core for me, the way she had me doing them. Um, and then, oh, I had to do this one exercise where I'm like, it was kind of embarrassing a little bit, but I'm lying on my back on this mat, and then I have this huge exercise ball under my legs, and I have to use my feet to roll it back and forth, back and forth. And at first I was like, oh, I got this, this is no big deal. I'm so easily deceived. It totally, like, totally stretched my hamstrings. It was a really good exercise for that. So I did some other things. They're kind of all running together, to be honest. And I can't remember what I did last night versus this morning. But I followed it up with yoga, which I totally love. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can see changes in my flexibility. And it's just been three weeks. Um, if you're familiar with yoga, there's this pose we do called the, I think it's called the downward facing dog or something like that. But anyway, um, it's where you're standing and then you put your hands out on the mat in front of you. And so you're kind of like almost making like a V shape, an upside down V. And then when you're in that, then we walk our hands back up to our feet and then slowly stand up. I've never been able to walk my hands back up to my feet. I kind of have to waddle my feet until I can stand up. But today I did it for the first time. And then she had us do it the opposite way where we're in a standing position and we walk our hands out to the top of the mat to get in that position again. Totally could do it. Who knew? I was so excited. And then in the child's pose, which is, um, if you don't know yoga, child's pose is like um, where you're kind of, on your knees on the mat and um, your feet are touching in the back and then you um, bend all the way forward and you put your forehead on the mat. Never been able to do that. Um, always have had to use some sort of prop to get to get down there. But today I could. I just, I mean, it was just astounding. So very encouraging things are going on there. Loved it. Um, Food-wise today, I have... Um, really been focusing on trying to get my calories up to where they need to be and I did I'm just under where they want my calories to be protein awesome I ended up being low on carbs today not hugely low but lower and so I guess that's that's pretty good um, but one thing I noticed today when um, I found out I had to be at boot camp I posted this status on Facebook I'm like oh my gosh I have to go to boot camp Shay was killing me but my dietitian saw the status, and so he um, commented and said, make sure you're, you get some carbs in to help you get through your workout this morning, which I love that he pays attention to stuff like that. But anyway, so my first response was like, oh, I totally need to eat some toast. You know, I'm thinking carbs, bread, pasta, rice, stuff like that. And um, so I had some toast with raspberry jam on it. I'm thinking, oh, I'm doing so good. And then I get to the gym, and Shayla's like, hmm, maybe we could have had some fruit instead of, you know, bread and jelly, right? And that totally makes sense. It just wasn't my first re reaction. So I'm having to retrain myself 
to think of good carbs and then okay carbs, but not necessarily the best. So could have had a cup of fruit instead of that bread and anyway, so I'm learning. <laughs> it's it's, a, it's a, a journey, right? Um, what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, I think I really feel confident that the weight I put on last night is totally water weight. Um, my trainer, or not my trainer, my dietitian has been talking to me about water weight um, and how that plays into our weight daily weight fluctuations. He said our weight actually fluctuates from hour to hour. Who knew that, right? But where I am in my month, um, it totally makes sense. I mean, my ankles are all swollen tonight, and so I know I'm retaining water. So I'm just drinking more water to hopefully flush all that out. But I'm doing really well with sticking to the One Diet Dr. Pepper rule and um, just eating within the limits that they've given me. I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm enjoying the journey. So thank you guys so much for your encouragement, and I will see everyone tomorrow.